थोक में देश All that rapping and scatting might seem to be a little bit weighty, but you have the excuse to do that when you hit and turn 80. So I'll try to slow things down and only go 55, and that way I will survive, but I won't get a ticket for bloviation, don't you know? Because you didn't come here tonight to see a show. I'm seeing a mad band freaking out on stage. And it's supposed to enjoy a rage, but rather to have some fun yourself and go home and take all that junk off the shelf and look for the beauty part and use all of that so you can be your own musical cat. So without too much explanation or any type of consternation, I'm only going to say that this song tonight is just something that we're going to do till we get it right. Now people who ride for pulses like this are usually taken away to sing a little bit for being certified with crazy. But this is on the Lower East Side January 2011 intro to Pull My Daisy. <laughs>
Such a good football player was told by his father since he only spoke French. Jacques, mon cher, si tu restes ici, alors tu vas être certainement ouvré dans son factory toute la vie. Which means if you hang out here on a hole, you're just going to end up working in a factory all of your life. So Jack, with his football skills, got a beautiful scholarship to the prestigious Horace Mann. And he was also a brilliant student and did the best that anyone can. So he got a football scholarship to the prestigious mighty Ivy League Columbia U. And a little, little the coach was just as disappointed when Jack broke his leg the second week of practice and didn't know what to do. So he abandoned the university scene and went out for seven years taking every type of day job you could imagine, you know what I mean. While on the road just got rejected over and over and over and over again. And finally, when Mikey said they were going to put it out and he came by the five spot just a block and a half from here in 1957 before going to Tangiers. It doesn't seem like it was such a long time, only 54 years way back then. Yeah, I guess now. Finally, the book came out. Unfortunately, Orville Prescott, a.k.a. Mr. Uptightness, in his white tennis shoes, <laughs> didn't get the news because he was on vacation in Martha's Vineyard and didn't get a chance to review and blast the book till after Gilbert Milstein gave it a fantastically good review before anyone could bury it, don't you know? And suddenly Jack, after years of total obscurity, was a worldwide figure overnight. 
Miss Joyce Thompson so beautifully put with John Vanamilia playing Jack and her show right here at the Bowery Poetry Club not too long ago. And all the parents who work two day jobs so that their child could be the next great American writer were so upset that they couldn't have even gotten in George Kimball's book if they wanted to be a fighter. However, that's another story, don't you know, morning glory, because finally, Gilbert, who realized that Dostoevsky and Charles Dickens and all those other cats were closer to where Jack himself was really at. And true and Capote in his white coat got so pathologically jealous he went on a television show and said it wasn't writing, it was typing. And now, in spite of Seymour Hoffman's extraordinary Oscar-winning performance, old Truman's still up in the same white coat in the great jam session in the sky complaining and griping. So for everyone here at the Battery Poetry Club tonight, whether you want to write, paint, play, sing, or support the wonderful project in this year, the coming spring of getting poets in the school so that the kids can realize that they're creative too. In the interests of spontaneity, let's all pull our days. Thank you for Diane Perry. Yeah. 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 Okay. And Jeff, yeah. sitting there on the horn, I said, boy, Eric looks different than you. <laughs> in New York is such an ever-changing scene. Every 15 minutes is a whole new picture. Well, since we're here and we have a wonderful